NASA wants a local company to help them take equipment for space experiments to the moon. NASA says it's the next big step in lunar exploration. Amy Wattis is live with how a company based here in Pittsburgh will play a key role in their mission. Hey, Amy. David, that's right. Exciting news. And NASA awarded Astrobotic $80 million, and it plans on flying as many as 14 payloads to the moon by July of 2021. Astrobotic, headquartered here in Pittsburgh, is one of three commercial moon landing service providers in the U.S. selected to deliver payloads to the moon as part of its Artemis program. Astrobotic has proposed to fly the 14 payloads to a large crater on the near side of the moon. We've got rovers that are going to be dropping and driving off in the distance. We have time capsules from uh, various companies all over the, the world. We've got one in particular from Japan that has more than 100,000 kids signed up to send their dreams to the surface of the moon. Each commercial lander will carry the equipment provided by NASA. The equipment will conduct science investigations and demonstrate advanced technologies on the lunar surface. This will pave the way for NASA astronauts to land on the lunar surface by 2024. Less than a year ago, Astrobotic was awarded $10 million to create a precision landing system for their spacecraft Peregrine. NASA says the selection of these commercial moon landing service providers represents America's return to the moon's surface for the first time in decades. These plans will help support sending the first woman and the next man to the moon. As part of their submissions, each provider will be flying specific NASA instruments to the lunar surface. So what is the next goal for NASA's Artemis program after its 2024 mission? Well, that is to establish a human presence on and around the moon by 2028. And after this, NASA hopes to be able to send astronauts to Mars. Reporting live tonight, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.